Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to enable the hidden administrator account that is within Windows 7 and Vista. In Windows XP I believe they already come uh, pre-activated. So um, I'm on this screen right now to show you that there's only one account that exists right here. That's my account. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go in here and I'll show you exactly what to do. Now uh, what this uh, hidden administrator account could be used for is to uh, retrieve lost passwords, forgotten passwords, uh, some troubleshooting scenarios, um, but I know most people are just going to learn how to do this just to annoy others, change passwords, get into computers they shouldn't be getting into, etc. But I do not support that. This is not the reason I'm making the video. This is for troubleshooting and uh, forgetfulness reasons. But let's get started what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put a fake password not a fake but I'm just gonna put a decoy password in uh, my account to show you that you can in fact use this to uh, retrieve forgotten or lost passwords so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna create a password we'll put bunny and create it okay I forgot I put it again okay bunny I forgot I put it the second time bunny created and boom now we are password protected as you can see it says right here password protected okay so we're gonna close this since we have a password on this now we're gonna go to your start all programs accessories and command prompt now you're gonna get this black window and you're gonna type in n e t user admin Tor space forward slash active yes. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see exactly what I wrote. There it is. Net space user space administrator space forward slash active colon yes. A forward slash active colon yes is all one word without any spaces. <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do, hit enter. As you can see, it completed successfully. So, you have uh, created the <clears throat> a hidden administrator account. Now, to show that it's there, you go over here, switching users, and there it is. Administrator account. Now, you can go in there, it's going to load up just like any other account. Difference is, you have full administrative privileges here. So to show that you could uh, really mess around with accounts, you go to your control panel. And if you forgot your password, you go here, manage other accounts. And there it is. That's my uh, actual username that I uh, actively use. I'm going to go in here. And right here, we have remove the password. So we're going to click that. It's going to say, do you want to remove it? Yep. And there it is. It's gone. But now it is no longer password protected. So uh, there you have it. It works. And if you want to get rid of this account, first you must log out or else uh, it will still show up. You log off of this. Give it a sec. There it goes. Logging off. So as you can see, it's still in existence. We go back to the main account, your account, whatever account. <clears throat> Just to ensure that it is in fact still without a password. Not password protected. It even asks if you want to create a password right there. So to disable the hidden administrator account, we open a command prompt again. Type in net user administrator forward slash active Oop, sorry about that active colon no see put no this time because no we don't want it we're gonna hit enter and the command completed successfully so to show that it is no longer here the administrator account is no longer with us. We're going to switch users once again. And boom. 
This is the sole account. There it is. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you uh, found this video to be useful. Uh, once again, this video is not to be used maliciously. Please use it responsibly. Um, it's a command that uh, actually is very helpful if you've forgotten a password. So there you have it. Um, let me know if this was helpful. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them. I will do my best to answer them. Alright guys, see ya.